happy Monday. I hope everyone is doing great. Thank you so much for joining me on my Facebook page for a fun story that I'm going to share with you guys today. For those of you who um, have never watched me before or have never met me before, my name is Deanna Jung, and I've been teaching kindergarten and first grade for over 20 years. I'm not currently in the classroom now. Now I'm a teacher of teachers, and I love doing that too, but I miss being in the classroom. So being able to come on here and share lessons with you guys is so fun for me, and it feels that need to get my kid fixed. So today, let me show you really quickly what we're going to be doing today. Let me pull this up so you can see it and make myself a little bit smaller. So today, I'm going to share with you a super fun story called The Very Impatient Caterpillar. And it's written and illustrated by Ross Brock. So let me share with you just a few things before we get started on the story. I want to share with you a few of the words that you may not know that you're going to hear in this story. Now, if you were in the classroom with me, we would learn these words together by talking with our partners and um, using them in context of the story. But since we don't have the time to do that, I'm going to have to share the words and the definition with you before I read this story so that it'll help you understand the story. So the first word I'm going to share with you is impatient. Now, a lot of you probably already know what this word is because you've probably heard your mom say before, don't be so impatient or be patient. And being impatient means not wanting to wait for someone or something, right? We can all probably relate to being impatient um, from time to time. Another word that I want to share with you that you're going to hear in this story is called migraine. And migrate just means that it's a movement to another place. So you might um, have heard this word before when somebody's talking about how birds migrate um, to the south for winter because they want to go where it's warmer. They don't want to stay where it's cold. So it's a movement to another place. And then another word that you're going to hear, this is a big word. This is a really big word. You can impress your family with this word, metamorphosize. Metamorphosize. Can you say that with me? metamorphosize and that means to transform or change transform means to change to transform it's to change it's a process some animals go through to become adults so let me share with you an example of that okay a frog when a frog first hatches out of its egg it's not a frog first it's a tadpole it has to metamorphosize it has to transform and change into a frog. So it goes through some stages to become an adult frog. And in this story, we're gonna meet the very impatient caterpillar. And we're gonna learn about his journey as he has to go through metamorphosis. And we're gonna see what happens, okay? So let me share that story with you. It is called The Very Impatient Caterpillar. Now stay tuned because when I finish this story, I'm going to give you a link um, that you can use and you can download and it'll have some activities that you can do at home. It's going to have a link to a video that you can go to and watch and really learn about real caterpillars and how they metamorphosize. And it's also going to have some activities that you can have your mom or dad or someone print out for you at home and that you can do at home. So make sure you stay tuned and wait for that link at the end. All right. So I'm going to read the story of the very impatient caterpillar by Ross Barak. Here we go. Hey, what are you guys doing? We're going to metamorphosize. Meta, what now? Transform into butterflies. Right, right, I knew that. Wait, you're telling me I can become a butterfly? Yes. With wings? Yes. For real? Yes. Now what? Build your chrysalis. Chrysalis, right, right. I knew that. What? How did you do that? Is it a spear or more of a twirl? Am I a butterfly yet? Ugh. Now what? Just be patient and let nature take its course. Patience, right, right, I got this. Am I a butterfly yet? No. How about now? No. Now? No. Be patient. I have a question. 
question. Not yet. You don't even know what I was going to ask. Fine, ask. How's your day going? Also, am I a butterfly yet? No, just be patient. Shh, we're trying to metamorphosize. Okay, okay. Obviously, I know this, but do you know how long this takes? Two weeks. Right, right. Two weeks. Two weeks! Oh, what am I going to do in here for two weeks? Can I get a comic book or something? What if I want a snack? Hello? Two pizzas, please. My address? A chrysalis? Click. Hello? Hello? How long have I been in here? What if I need the bathroom? Anyone want to play a game? It's still day one. This is taking forever. That's it. I feel metamorphosized enough. Oh my goodness, it's only been day one. What do you think he's going to do? Can you predict what he's going to do? Let's check and see. Look out, world! Feast your eyes on this beautiful butterfly! How do I look? Transformed? Time to spread my wings and fly! Wait! Where are my wings? Splat! Time for a new approach. Okay, you can do this. You can be patient. And he's reading a book that says you can transform your life because he's wanting to learn how to be patient. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't be patient. You are the little caterpillar that could. I am the little caterpillar that couldn't. Get a grip. You can. I can't. I can't. You can. I can't. Have you ever talked to yourself in the mirror like that and tried to pep yourself up? You can. I can't. You can. I can't. Can. Can't. And the squirrel hears this and he's thinking, what is going on in there? I can be patient. Patient. Patience is all in the mind. Be one with the chrysalis. Deep breath in and out. Look, day six. I'm doing it. Just be patient. Just be patient. He's at day nine, day 10, day 11. Two weeks later, I did it. I'm a butterfly. You know, I do feel transformed. Starting now, I'm going to be way more patient. That's great. Hey, where are you all going? We're migrating. Migrating, right, right. Wait for me. Are we there yet? And the other butterfly is saying, ah. Why do you think the other butterfly is saying, ah? Yes, we can infer that he's saying, uh, because the caterpillar, if we go back a page, the caterpillar was just saying, starting now, I'm going to be way more patient. And then already they've just started on their journey and he's saying, are we there yet? So he still has a little work on himself to go to get more patient. So let me talk to you this week about what we're going to do this week, what we're going to work on. So another comprehension strategy that great readers do is they make connections to the story that they read. So what do you think about the word impatient? All right. So readers make connections to help them understand the character and how they are feeling. So in this story, we see that the caterpillar was impatient and that caused him lots of problems because he just could not be patient. 
So for your activity that I want you to do when we're finished today, I want to, you to think of a time when you were impatient. And I want, to write, I want you to write your connection about what happened when you were impatient and what problems that might have caused you. Because like I said, readers make connections to help them understand the character and how they're feeling. So you're going to connect to the same feelings the caterpillar was feeling of being impatient. And you're going to think about what happened when you were impatient. So that's what's going to be included in one of the downloads that I'm going to give you today. The very impatient caterpillar. And there's several versions for you to choose from based on if you're in kindergarten, first grade, second grade, or a different grade. There's, there's, um, different versions that you can use based on how much you feel like writing today. All right, so you're going to draw a picture about the caterpillar and what he looked like when he was impatient and draw a picture of a time when you were impatient and write about it. And then another activity that I have for you is you can learn how to draw the butterfly from our story. Um, when the very impatient caterpillar, he at the end, he transformed into the very impatient butterfly, right? So I have given you the steps, step by step, so that you can draw and color the caterpillar from the story. There's also a link in this download, like I told you at the beginning, there's also a link in this download that you can use to go and watch a video that tells you all about butterflies. Lots of different fun and interesting facts about butterflies and how they metamorphosize from caterpillars into butterflies. So you can download all of that. You don't have to sign up for an email address or anything. You just simply have to go to this bit.ly link, bit.ly forward slash DJ Reads and the numeral two. And it's all caps for DJ Reads. DJ Reads and the numeral two. So I hope that you've enjoyed um, joining me for this story today. And I hope that you enjoy the activities that you get to do at home. If you do them, ask your mom or whoever's with you to take a picture and tag me so I can see your great work. You can tag me on Facebook or on Instagram at Mrs. Jumps Class. But I would love to see your work. And I hope that you'll join me right back here next Monday as we read one of my very favorite stories called Piggy Pie. So I hope you guys have a great day and a great week. Bye!